I thought I'd spare you guys and shower and do my hair for the video. I don't wake up like this by any means, but it's such a gloomy day, guys. Like I legitimately did not want to get out of bed today. I just spent an unhealthy amount of time on TikTok watching Nara Smith and her cooking videos. This girl, the one that's married to, what's her name, like Lucky? Whatever, she's a great cook and she like inspires me to learn how to cook because apparently I'm bad at it. From reviews, that's fucking rude for them to say that. I'm okay, I'm not the best. Anyways, today we're spending the day together. We're gonna bond, we're gonna catch up, we're gonna do all the good things. And I'm gonna show you how to romanticize, am I? I was gonna say, I'm gonna show you how to romanticize a gloomy day, but really, am I that good at that? Because I'm not gonna lie, Lana Del Rey is coming on, Frank Ocean's coming on, who else? Arctic Monkeys is coming on, and that's just doing yourself dirty. Like, are you trying to be sad? You know? I was listening to Cinnamon Girl in the shower. Obviously, I'm self-sabotaging. We're gonna spend the day together, and we're gonna see if the day turns out good, and then we can agree together if I romanticized a gloomy day or not. But honestly, I love being cozy. That's the one thing. I don't like leaving my house when it's raining. Like, lock me in the house, I will never leave. But like some people, like my sister, she's she's already out. She's already out of the house. Like, she would hate to stay home all day. It is 10.30. It's quite late. You guys would probably consider this lazy. And I do consider this lazy too. Like, it's almost like second nature to just like open up Instagram. Like I wasn't even thinking about opening it up and somehow it's open on my phone and I'm scrolling. Like I'm filming a video, why am I scrolling on Instagram? Okay, I should really, really get up right now because I will stay here all day if you let me. I kind of forgot that I have actual tasks to do. Like I have to edit a TikTok for a brand deal right now. Productive Queens. <laughs> why am I sitting like a dad? This is such a dad's dance. To be honest, most of the time, I don't even- On this side, I'm wearing a luxury mascara from Sephora. door scared oh fedex oh we love that <laughs> all right damn an hour has passed i posted an instagram photo and then i also kind of finished editing i have to do more but whatever but i thought let's um look alive let's look like a human being again and put on some makeup this is my musty crusty makeup bag i use the same stuff every day like i will not change my routine say is gonna send me a bunch of stuff and i'm waiting for that because they're bronzer i tried lives in croatia and oh my god so good so i'm waiting for that i have a question do you guys always have something to say because so many times i feel like my brain is just like i don't have a topic to talk about you know my brain isn't always moving i'm the type of person also that would just like i sleep like this because i'm really not thinking of anything so like i don't know if anybody relates because i feel like people have a lot to talk about and they have a lot in their mind and maybe it's just because i don't really have like drama in my life i love like talking to my friends that are single because they always have so many stories but sometimes i feel like boring for not having stuff to talk about but it's like girl i'm chilling like i love talking about if there's something i'd like to talk about it's celebrity history and like come up stories and like shows i'm watching and books i'm reading that's my drama that's my tea yeah i turned off the lights to make it more vibey Let me have the rest of her oatmeal. And this is giving fall. It's so fall. It's so good. Kiana, what's your secret ingredient? <laughs> You're not going to say? What salt? Maldon salt. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's so good. Let's get dressed because we're gonna head out soon. And surprise, Cotton is sponsoring today's video. So we're gonna pick an outfit from Cotton. And honestly, I really, really needed nice knit sweaters. And these are so cute. Like, 
the color and the quality their quality is really good because their mission is focused on creating really good quality garments that last a really long time also every piece is biodegradable when you're done with it so it's really good for the environment i'm thinking this yellow sweater i don't know i've like been obsessed with it i've been dying to wear it and today's a perfect day because it's like gloomy either i want to actually wear it or i kind of want to like do this whole thing where you tie it i've been doing this with my sweaters a lot they also kindly sent a lot of like loungewear and i love a good flared sweatpants and they had really nice black ones so i got these they have the best basics so i got a little black turtleneck because i think like everybody needs one and then i got a black hoodie because again everybody needs a black hoodie and that's gonna be like my comfort set <laughs> how am i gonna get my head through this i love it when you take a white long sleeve and you let it like show under the sweater i feel like it adds a nice pop and then i was thinking these new sneakers that i thrifted i don't know why i think this like red and silver goes really well with this yellow and then a pair of jeans slay i love this this sweater with my apple cinnamon oatmeal mm. how much more fall can you get i don't know i don't know if lighter or darker darker could be cute too okay i thought i'd come out here to show you guys the outfit a little bit better because my room is tiny it's literally a box. Anyways, I really like this. It's so cool and so chill and just like cozy. Such fall vibes. I feel like the brand Cotton just really aligns with my values. It Obviously, they have to use cotton to make these clothes, these sweaters, these beautiful pieces they have. And what makes me feel really good and like warms my heart when I own a piece from them is just knowing that they work with communities in Egypt to source their cotton and then they repay those communities and they build schools in those regions. So, you know, every time you wear a piece from cotton that you're repaying those communities that help bring this piece to you and help you own this sweater they're actually thinking about that because a lot of brands are not thinking about that so i feel like when i do find a brand like that i really do cherish them and that will make me be more of a lifelong customer if you care about any of that stuff cotton is the brand for you thank you cotton for sponsoring this video let's get back to the outfit because i actually like I love this outfit so much. I'm very, very excited to step out in this fit. A good fit is the only thing that will make me want to step out of the house. Otherwise, I'm staying in, as I said. Okay, my mic died. Anyways, I thought this was a good opportunity to show you guys the things I've thrifted. And they're so cute. I've been trying really hard to be picky about what I thrift. So I haven't thrifted a lot, but the pieces I thrifted are so good i only thrifted like three things in the past week which is an improvement but first off these shoes i couldn't say no to so i've kind of vowed not to thrift bad quality shoes anymore or like run down shoes if it's not good quality i'm not gonna get it if it's not newer i'm not gonna get it because half my shoes downstairs are breaking like after a couple wears like they're done so i just want to make sure that i'm thrifting good quality stuff and not wasting money and then next the tag's still on. I haven't even taken the tag off. It's this slouchy crossbody bag. I already know I'm going to use this so much. It just slings around as you guys saw. And it's so cute. And I have nothing like this. And then last but not least, I just got this cardigan. I'm really hunting for cardigans. Because I just want to wear like cool t-shirts and then put these cardigans on top. And I like that the buttons are actually silver. If I can find a brown version and a black version, I'm good. Like, I don't need anything else. As you can see, it's kind of a mess because my live stream is tonight. So every live stream I do with whatnot, I need 50 items. And right now I have 40. Plus I tried to sell one of Kiana's shoes and she took them back. So I need to go to Valley Village and get some things, source some things. I should have done this earlier and I know that. We're in the vehicle. Let's go. I literally cannot drive and vlog. I will crash. I will crash. Since we both don't want me to get in a car accident. I am going to leave now and I'll see you guys at the thrift store. Okay, we're here walking through the doors. I'm getting a little nervioso. Sometimes I do when I'm filming in public. Anyways, we are in the homeland. What should I throw for you guys? That's a good question. Maybe we can dabble in some deep talks while we're here. Oh, there's some cute sweaters today. We'll definitely have to go through this. Like a cute little vintage Gap sweater. I think this could be really cute. Found some true religions. Look at these. These are sick. I like the print a lot. Okay, maybe we'll put these in for you guys. I feel like someone could love that. Oh, I am seeing cute stuff today, and I don't have that much time to stay here. As I mentioned earlier, I'm the type of person that sleeps in 2.5 seconds because I'm not thinking of anything and I'm not overthinking and I'm just trying to enjoy the moment and be present. It's also good to think, you know? It's also good to have some deep thoughts. It's also good to have opinions. And that gets me to the point of, sometimes I feel like because I'm so flexible and I'm so easygoing and I'm so 
non-judgmental and chill. Sometimes I just feel like I almost like don't have an opinion because I'm okay with anything. I've just kind of been trying to learn more of what my opinions are and what I actually like because when the time comes to make a decision, I can't continue to be this indecisive about things. Like you asked me what I want to eat. I don't know. You asked me what I'm in the mood for. I don't know. I want a little bit of everything. We're looking through the jackets, by the way. So I think it's just really good to know what you like in general and know who you are. Then no one can stop you. You're literally unstoppable if you know exactly who you are and what kind of relationships you want to have and what kind of friendships you want to have and what you value in life. Like those are such important things, especially in your 20s to figure out because when you know that, I just feel like your confidence also goes up because you become just that much more sure of yourself and you can feel like you deserve to have confidence in yourself almost. I don't know if that that even makes sense but basically i'm trying to say this is your sign to get to know yourself a little bit better so you can build your confidence that's why i've been writing stuff like my thoughts in my notes and kind of trying to keep track of them and dissecting more things and just being more not critical but like observant almost okay anyways if i keep talking we're gonna literally run out of time and i could talk for hours i might do a video like fully on confidence because sometimes i think about the fact that i was so confident when i wasn't necessarily feeling as beautiful as i am now like i feel like i used to think i'm like the ugly friend or whatever but yet i had so much confidence like blind confidence so i kind of want to talk about confidence in general and all the different ways you can like capture the aura of confidence so if you want to sit down video on that let me know and i'll tell you guys what has helped me become more confident in my journey with confidence and i think it would help people because i think we're all struggling with the same things 24 7 especially with the internet and tiktok and instagram you're constantly comparing yourself so it's really really easy to lose your confidence so i think we all need to stay strong together and give and share our tips so if you're interested in that let me know but let's get thrifting for now and see what i find for you guys Sometimes I really like something, but it's like the color. Like, are you any of you guys gonna wear this color? But like the right person could style this so well. What do we think? From one to 10, I think these are sick. I feel like I look like an idiot, but I feel like I also look like I could be a fashion week. Let's try these bad boys. Oh, these are cute too. They are a little bit scratched, but I don't mind them. I don't mind them at all. Now look at the shoes and the belts for you guys. Starting with this pair. How cute. They're like elastics and they're stunning. Wear toe is my best friend and these are so cute. What flats are these again? Are they Ghani? You know what brand I'm talking about. The flat kind of loafers with this kind of design on it. So cute. This is totally a dupe. Everybody loves a pop of red right now. So I thought these would be really cute and they're so unique because they have the bows at the back. Lastly for the shoes, these flats. Like, how gorge. All right, that was quite successful actually. We got so many shoes. I'm so ready to go home and eat. I'm starving. This is us and our stuff. Everybody at Valley Village knows me, like all the stuff. They're like, oh, our YouTubers in today. We went from getting in trouble for filming to being loved and accepted. I remember once I got kicked out. Oh, goddamn! I need to wash my hands right now because I feel like absolutely disgusting. Hand sanitizer will do. I cannot wait to get home. Like for real, I just want to eat before the live stream. I have an hour and a half and I just want to sit down for a sec. Also quickly, one more thing. Guess how much I spent at Valley Village. Like guess how much this thrift trip that you guys just saw was. I'm like curious to see if you guys are actually gonna get it. Guys, I'm literally so exhausted right now. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but there's like 20 minutes left to live. I'm like rushing to get everything set up and organized. I don't know, I'm just so tired. Like I honestly, like days of the lives, I need to not do anything because I get so exhausted. I'm like out of breath, like am I okay? We're just organizing all the goods. Got my little setup there. Gotta post some photos and then some stories. Thank you. 